In this video, we're going to take a look at representing vectors. Now, in the previous video, we established the basics behind vectors, which was just a recap of everything we did in GCSE Master Vectors. And in this video, I want to introduce some new notation. So let's just start with a basic vector here. Let's say we've got the vector A. Underline that to signal that this is a vector. Now here, we did mention this in the previous video, but obviously you should be familiar with this from GCSE Maths. I'm going to use column vector form here on notation. So if I write this as 5, 2, okay. Remember what this um, represents here is a change of positive 5 in the x direction. So change of 5, so change of 5 in the x direction. Let's just write that down here. And then this signals a change of positive 2 in the y direction. Okay. In the y direction. And this is column vector form. But again, you should be familiar with this from GCSE Maths. I shouldn't be introducing anything new here. So remember, basic properties of column vectors. If I multiply through by a scalar, say lambda, and my column vector is AB, so AB, then the result here would be lambda A and lambda B there. Okay, so that would be the result of multiplying through by a scalar. And we can also add two column vectors. So if I have the vector AB, column vector AB, and I add the column vector CD, so we can add those together. And the result here would be A plus B, sorry, A plus C, and then B plus D there. Okay, so that's the result of adding two column vectors. Now the new notation I want to introduce here is particularly useful when we take a look at the applied section of the course for mechanics. And this is using IJ notation. So if I just think about this vector here that we introduced before, vector A, so the vector A here, which again is just 5, 2. And if I use IJ notation here, this would be 5i plus 2j there. Okay. So if you do A-level further maths, you might have come across I um, when we look at complex numbers. Not the same thing here, so don't get confused with that. Um, again, this is just the same idea. This represents a change of positive 5 in the x direction and then a change of positive 2 in the y direction. Okay. And we also have our unit vectors. So in this case, so for the unit vectors here, so for the unit vectors, we have I. So the vector i here, which is 1, 0, that's 1, 0, and then the unit vector here of j, which is 0, 1 there. Okay, and that's it. So that's our basic representation of vectors there. We want to take a look at any kind of exam style questions, um, because for the most part, this is just a recap again of GCSE mass material, with the exception of this ij um, notation here, our component notation. So not to worry about any questions for this video. So that brings us to the end of this video on representing vectors. In the next video, we're going to take a look at finding the magnitude of a vector.